The plot thickens. Late today, retailers in Illinois filed an appeal to stop that drink tax from taking effect. But seeing as it's supposed to happen in less than seven hours, what happens next remains unclear. CBS 2's Vince Girasoli visited some restaurants today, struggling to figure out what to do with all the uncertainty. At the Palace Grill, over a quarter table, owners are drinking in the county's new soda tax and crunching the numbers. How we're going to regulate it, well, how much I'm going to charge. Most restaurateurs are paying the penny an ounce tax directly to their suppliers, but how much should they pass along to customers? They still don't know. Well, this drink already right now is, I don't know, 250 it's going to be almost three bucks for a drink. Are you going to pay three bucks for this now? I don't know. Adding to the confusion, they'll have to pay tax on product they've already purchased if it's served after today. Even though I've already bought it, I have to mail in the money and pay the tax on this product that I already have. In the loop at Chicken Planet, Pop's been a bargain at a dollar a glass with free refills. They too are struggling with what to charge. I have to lose the money to keep the customer happy. For a $75 box of soda mix, they'll now pay $35 more dollars in taxes. It's not going to be refilled anymore. I have to put the sign on the machine, the refill like a 50 cents or 75 cents. And everyone's scrambling how to figure this out. Sam Toya with the Illinois Restaurant Association says the confusion is one more reason he and retailers hope to file another appeal. Are you optimistic about an appeal? Not really, you know what I mean, but we're going to try. The county hopes to pocket $200 million annually from the tax, but soda has been a profit center restaurants have relied on for years, and it still doesn't taste so sweet. They're killing the small businesses. They're killing the restaurant people. Here's another complication for restaurants. If they sell a mixed drink, say a rum and Coke, they can't charge the tax on the alcohol, but they can on the Coke. So how do they decide on the price? And also that late breaking word of the Illinois Retail Merchants Association filing an appeal just creates more questions for so many people. As you heard Sam Toya saying there, he's not so hopeful about the appeal, but they are trying. Right, it's going back to the court system and a judge. But in the meantime, they still have just a few hours left to comply at this point. Right, and uh, what a lot of the restaurateurs say that they're going to do is maybe they won't change their prices right away, but eventually they're going to have to pay the tax that they owe. Mm -hmm. So out there, you can expect to see changing prices for many restaurants especially smaller ones right. uh, over the coming days. Figure out what customers will actually be okay with too. Right. Thanks Vince.